everyone, this is the Arch Seed. I'm a game to be sad. Whoa, 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 whoa. A small I don't like making these I told you so videos because it can come off as awfully braggadocious and with all due respect I let my videos stand alone and let you guys draw your own conclusions about them but I made a video I guess it was about a month or two ago about legalization of drugs in America and why I think that's just a fantasy that could never come to be. Now before everyone who's for legalization, before you guys flip the hell out like you did on that last video because you go, oh my god you straight edge son of a bitch you're trying to restrict my rights for what I put in my body you have no say over that blah 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 neither does the government. Okay first of all calm down. Alright? I'm for the legalization of drugs. What you do in your own time, as long as it doesn't inconvenience my life in any way, shape, or form, then knock yourself out. You want to sit in your bedroom all day and get high? You want to get stoned on the weekends? Do whatever you want, and if you're responsible about it, then by all means, go ahead and do it. And of course, as long as you're an adult as well, I don't condone legalized drugs for children. That's just ridiculous. But... There's a there's just a conception here, just this fantasy land that people live in when they talk about legalizing drugs. And again, as I did in the previous video, I'm going to be talking about just for the circumstances of drugs being legal in the United States of America, since that's the country in which I live in, and that's the political system that I'm the most well up to date on. Anyway, um, I'm in that video made the point of saying how drugs could and should be legal, however, the realistic rationality of that is just completely improbable. It's just something that could never work under the current system. And one of the reasons why is because, I said, the political structure and those of the conservatism versus liberalism would clash, and if something like drugs were made legal, it would change the entire scale of things from the way police do their business up to how laws and how they are legislated. Well, just last week, and I'm going to put a link for this article in the video description, it was on March 20th, there was a new law proposed in the state of Florida. Now, I just want to go over some specifics about the law here, and then I want to just go on into detail on why I'm making a video about this and why it fully backs up the points that I was making in my previous video and why I think people that are for legalization of drugs in America are living in this fantasy land. Anyway, let me go into the article here. Oh, and by the way, if you want to thumbs down the video, go ahead. It really doesn't matter. In fact, if you like this video, thumbs it down. And I know most people are going to thumbs it down just from the title alone, so go ahead. All right, Florida Governor Rick Scott has signed, as expected, a law allowing state employees to be randomly tested for illegal drugs, a measure likely to draw a legal challenge over its constitutionality. The Republicans signed the Drug-Free Workplace Act, which will permit state agency heads to randomly test up to 10% of a department's employees for alcohol and other substance abuse, his office said on Monday. Tests can be conducted every 90 days under the measure. It would prohibit department heads from firing employees who initially test positive for drugs, but could require such employees to participate in rehabilitation programs. And, you know, if you want to read the rest of this, go ahead. All right. This is what I was talking about in that video. This is what I was talking about when I said... All right, let's hypothetically say Barack Obama passes the Drug Legalization Act of 2012 and now drugs are made legal. Do you people think the conservative sector of legislature and just society are going to be okay with that? Folks, this is a law in the state of Florida that is talking about random drug tests, be it just for federal employees, this is talking about random drug testing for employees and drugs are still illegal. What the hell do you guys think is going to happen if drugs were illegal? Do you think laws like this are just going to vanish? Do you think laws like this are just going to stop appearing? This is the type of laws that I hate in this country. This is the type of legislation that I wish would go away. And do you know why? Because the one person that ends up usually suffering the most is the casual abuser of a law like this. 
What I'm talking about is, I'll just say, there's a guy named Jack or a girl named Jill. Let's just say, alright, this law passes and now it's going into play and we'll just say that it evolved into the point where you could be fired. Like in the early stages, it's talking about uh, just being a, a measure to get people to go to rehab, but it, realistically thinking, laws like this are going to evolve into where you can get terminated outright. So, all right, let's just say Jack or Jill went out and it's Friday night at work. They have the weekend off. You know, they went out with some friends to the club. One of the friends had a joint. They got high before they went in. Uh, they were completely responsible about everything they did that night. They got a cab to take them to and from where they were going. They did everything, they didn't hurt anyone, they just went out and had a good time, had a few cocktails, whatever else, everything is fine. Jack or Jill wake up Saturday, you know, maybe they sleep in, they have children, they take them to baseball, softball practice the next day, everything is perfectly fine, they're fully functioning, they stay home Sunday, they just relax, they watch football, they watch TV, Monday rolls around, show up to work, on time, Jack and Jill both do a tremendous job at their work. Bosses love them. They're great. The entire week goes on. All of a sudden, Friday, there's a random drug test. Jack and Jill get tested. Maybe it was that first time that they smoked a joint that Friday before. It's not affecting them in their system anymore. They're still doing their job to 100% capacity. Oh, too bad. Laws passed. You're both fired. No leeway in letting people go because, you know, oh, we can't let you slip. I'm sorry, the law's the law now. Jack and Jill, you're out of a job. Even though you're our greatest employees we have, sorry, you're fired. That is the type of person that gets screwed over the most with legislation like this. And that is the problem that I see coming up if drugs were illegal. Because like I said, folks, drugs aren't even illegal. And they're talking about legislation like this? Legislation getting signed into law? Oh my God, I don't, I don't want to see the day, in all honesty, I don't want to see the day where legislation is going to start being made once drugs are made legal in a country like America. Because here's what the people that are for, le for legalization need to think about. One, voters carry the way things are. All right, here's the thing. The legislators are going to do what their voting base wants them to do. And with all due respect, if you sit at home and you don't vote and you're passionate about a cause, legislators don't give a shit about what you think. The people that show up to vote tend to, at least in the polls that I've been seeing, tend to be more straight edge, for lack of a better term. Who do you think legislators are going to play to? Are they going to play to the just people out there that don't vote? Or are they going to play to the voting base that puts their butts in office? Because guys like this, what's his name again? Rick Scott voted in a state like Florida. He's going to play to what his constituency and what the people that vote for him want. And obviously he's not fearing re-election because he'll probably win re-election no problem, even though he's clearly a governor that's anti-drug. I just, I, just, I just don't get how these people that are for legalization just think it's just magically going to happen and there's going to be no consequences to come from it. My God, just, just think, of how, think of how bad the laws are going to be. Because I hate legislation like this legislation that Rick Scott is pushing on the poor people of Florida. And again, I'm for legalization myself, but the realistic world of living in America and having drugs legal... It just, it just, it, it just isn't a notion I can comprehend in my mind at this time. Now, whether you like to say the government is regulating you unfairly or not, you have to realize that in America you live in a democracy. And if the majority of the people in this democracy and the majority of the people that vote in this democracy are against drugs, then you have to deal with the fact that legislation is going to treat drugs as illegal and will always remain illegal. Now I know, I know people are just like, whoa, we need to legalize weed and all this other stuff, and I understand that. I'm for the legalization of weed. I realize we don't live in the 18th century anymore. That stuff like alcohol is just as bad as weed. I get it. It would be nice to see weed legalized. 
just so that people can just get high and not fear getting arrested or going to jail for it. But folks, we live in a democracy in America. The laws legislate what the majority of the democracy wants in most cases. Because to be fair, I'm sure when slavery was being overturned, the majority of the people in this country probably were for slavery. So that's not always held to a T in American legislation, but for the most part it does. In other words, you can't just be stunned when you live in a country and you want something one way, yet the majority of people wanted another, and you don't understand why the laws regulate against the way you want them. So, for all of you that are for legalization, I want you to ask yourself what it says in the title of this video. Do you seriously expect drugs to be legalized in this country and for laws like this to just vanish? Or new laws to pop up that are more stringent than what this law proposes? I mean, let's, let's be realistic here for a second, people. And I know I'm going to get flamed to hell because I know the internet is like more liberal and everyone's like, Oh, if you're against drugs, you're a straight-edge asshole trying to keep my rights down. Fine, be that way. But just go ahead and try and make an argument this time. Try and tell me how you think lawmakers and the majority of people in this country are going to perceive and how they are going to designate laws to be dished out to the general public. Because again, I feel for that proverbial Jack and Jill that I said in that story. Because the casual drug user is going to get penalized on the workplace as much as a hardcore drug abuser that does deserve to be fired. If you do abuse drugs, it influences the way you work, it influences negatively the way you work, it influences other around you negatively that you come in contact with, then yes, you should be stripped of your job, you should be punished, you should have the potential of going to jail. If you abuse anything in America, if you abuse anything that negatively affects people and the way I or you conduct business on a daily basis and infringes our rights, our ability to do anything, then yes, you should potentially go to jail for what you do. So, call me a conservative asshole for my beliefs, but again, I'm for legalization. It's just a realistic notion of it. It ain't happening right now. And for all those people, and I just, oh my God, the one thing <laughs> that just, just made me shake my head more than anything else was in my previous video, all these people that say, well, look at Amsterdam. Drugs are legalized there. You're just upset because it works in a place like Amsterdam and you know it'll work in a place like America and you just want to keep things from happening here in the United States. Amsterdam is not America. You can't comp compare somewhere in a completely different place on the globe with a completely, co completely different socioeconomic structure, completely demographic makeup, a completely different mindset mindset as far as liberalism and conservatism goes and say if it works here it's got to work there oh my god just i just 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 save that noise cuz i just i just got so tired of hearing about that and you know what i bet you guys are so tired of hearing me ramble on in this video so i'm just going to go ahead and stop so again if you want to be high or get high be responsible about it i'm not going to hate on you and you know what people shouldn't hate on you for that because what you do in your own time is your own business, and if you're not affecting anyone with your actions, then I don't really see what the big deal is. But you got to be kidding me if you think the majority of the people in this country, if they are against what you do, are just going to magically accept what you do, and laws are just going to adapt to be okay with what you do because you like to get high, or because you like to do something that was illegal, that was illegal for however many years now we've been legislating in this country and how people are just gonna you know draw conclusions about it from that anyways archfiend shut the hell up stop the video right now